Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Today we're going over the second major boss, Fog Frog in Soul Mask. And defeating Fog Frog will make you unlock the data update too, which is going to make you unlock the Mimic Cry mode for each of your masks. And basically you can look at it as a ulti ability. A different mask gives different unique abilities basically. So to be able to do the boss we need to do some preparations here and first of all the boss and its environment it's poison so to be able to fight him we want to get some poison resist for our character. And first we have poison proof mods and I went with the second mod tier here uh, granting me 40% in total on four of my gear pieces. And for the second mod you need rubber and that you can get from syrup that you will get from putting a pipe gathering on those large trees. And then you want to grab yourself a antidote for plus 50 poison resist and 20 less poison damage taken. And this potion can be found really easy by doing the jumping puzzle at the volcano by getting on top of these towers and uh, at the chest on the top you will get yourself some antidote potions along with some other great items. I put a link in the description explaining more about the puzzle if you'd like to check it out. So now when we have that done we are almost ready for the boss and we also need to bring us some material to be able to spawn this boss as well. And for this case we're going with the first one here and it's uh, some really easy items to obtain that we need. We want to get 5 aloe essence and then also 5 acid fluid, 2 blood cream and also a worship container. And if you need some sulfur for the acid fluid, uh, you have some just right before the boss. There's uh, 3 different mines underneath here. And for the worship container, you can get it from the barbarian barracks by defeating the end elite here. And you have two low level barracks in the rainforest that you can grab real quick here. And once that's done, you can head over to the boss arena. I recommend leaving the mount at a safe distance as the uh, poison is all over here. And uh, also at this arena you will have some uh, small frogs here running around on the ground. And I usually just kill them off before I do the boss. Just in case as they can be a bit annoying to deal with with the boss up at the same time. The boss overall is quite straightforward. I recommend doing this boss solo, so without a tribesman, as the boss have one attack that will leave poison clouds on the ground that you will have to run out of and just manage that with your tribesman is just a lot of extra work in my opinion. You want to grab a bow and the great bow is what I like to use and you want to stay on range throughout this whole fight basically and it's going to be two attacks that you will have to look out for if you stay on ranged. The first one is going to be his rage attack and he will just throw himself at you and do a big AOE and you just basically want to dodge out of this uh, either way to the left or the right and you can see that his eyes will glow red before he does the attack. And the second one is going to be the one that I mentioned earlier. He will shoot out a projectile from his back and once he's done that it will leave a pool of poison on the ground dealing damage. And just be careful when you are running the arena here so you don't run into them as you do the rest of the boss fight. And that's basically all you need to do. Uh, just keep yourself at a safe distance and you'll be good to go. Once inside the pyramid you will find some chests with some energy stones in them. Also the mysterious device for the hill pyramid which you will need later on. And at the top you will find the upgrade to the data 2 which will unlock your mimic mode. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you got any other questions feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!